Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Arav. The stock that is shortlisted today for fundamental analysis is Vakarangi Limited. About the program, this is an Excel program wherein we put financial data onto this program and arrive at a conclusion whether to invest in this company at this point of time or not. So let's go ahead. The financial data that we put in this program is through an app known as a stock edge app so let's go ahead and uh, in the search bar we click vakrangi limited here we could see that vakrangi limited last traded price was 34.2 on 19th of october 2018 now let's understand about the company the sector and the industry the sector for vakrangi limited is information technology Industry is BPO or ITES. Now let's understand about the company. Under the show profile tab, we could see here that Vakrangi software was incorporated in 1990 with a mission to excel in every given task, vision to deliver value added services and become visible in the global business world. The products that they offer is Human Capital Management HCM, E Administrator, Matdata Suchi, Voters Identity Card Software, Voters Data Entry Package with Online Transliteration Technology, Cyber Saver. This was about the company. Now coming on to the financial indicator, we'll be putting these financial values onto our Excel program. Market cap for Vakrangi is 3621.11 crores. Clearly it's a small cap company. Earning per share is 4.96. Price to earning ratio is 6.89. Industry PE is 20.50. Book value per share is 24.41. Price to book value is 1.40. Dividend yield is 0.73. And the face value is 1. Number of shares subscribed is 105.88 crores. Now let's go to the return ratios. Under the ratios tab, we click the return ratio under the drop down menu. The first return ratio is return on equity, which is 29.47. Return on capital employed is 43.18. Return on asset is 25.93. So overall, a buy signal for this stock at this point of time. Efficiency ratio is for the first efficiency ratio is EBITDA margin which is 15.97, EBIT margin is 15.91, PAT margin is 10.47%, earning per share is 6.43, asset turnover ratio is 2.48, days of receivables is 59.85 and days of payables is 13.06, days of inventory is 14.49. So overall efficiency ratio has also given us a buy signal for this stock at this point of time. Now coming on to growth ratios. Under the drop down menu we select growth ratio. The net sales growth is 62.53. The EBITDA growth is 9.15. Net profit growth is 28.20. EPS growth is 28.15. So overall a buy signal for the stock at this point of time in terms of growth ratios now coming on to solvency ratio which is the most important ratio that is to be considered the solvency ratio the total debt to equity ratio is zero here we could see that the total debt on the company is zero against the net worth of 2592.41 crores now coming on to interest coverage ratio which is 100.35 on, on clicking 100.35 we could see that earnings before income tax is 1034.18 crores whereas interest that they are paying is only 10.31 crores the current ratio is 7.24 so overall solvency ratio has given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time coming on to cash flow ratios you can see that the cash flow per share is 5 and the free cash flow per share is 4.81 so 
a buy signal in terms of uh, cash flow ratios as well now coming on to the valuation ratios the first is price to earning ratio which is 34.41 price to book ratio is 9.11 price to cash flow ratio is 44.19 EV to EBITDA ratio is 21.13 and uh, market cap to sales ratio is 3.60 so overall valuation ratio has also given us a signal to not to invest in the company at this point of time now the program in its entirety has given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time hope you might have liked this video if you have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe for comments write in the comment section below further if any one of you wants to perform comparative or fundamental analysis of any of your particular stock can write in the comment section below thank you